Hi there, I'm Anya and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I want to show you how to transfer your Polygon based NFTs to your Ledger protected accounts. Essentially, you can store them safely. Vast majority of, vast majority of NFTs exist on, on the Ethereum network, but NFTs on different blockchains are becoming more and more popular, whether that's Cardano or Binance or Polygon. And well, it's quite reasonable to expect that as NFTs will become more popular overall and as blockchain technology will become more pop popular, of course, there will be more and more NFTs on other blockchains. So if you like those videos and if you find them helpful, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And also, if you enjoy my content, please do check out the private Discord channel. I put the link in the description and there's a lot more content there which I post on a regular basis. Right, so let's start with this tutorial. So what I have here is just some random Polygon based NFT I have, and I want to transfer it to my Polygon Ledger account. So first of all, of course, I have to make sure that I have a Polygon app installed on my Ledger. I'm assuming that if you're interested in, in this video, you've done this step already. If not, you can check out this article here on Ledger's website where they guide you through all the steps of setting up that account. It's pretty straightforward. If you ever added any other apps to your, uh, to your ledger, then the process is exactly the same. So basically you just make sure that you have the app installed and you have your uh, account address so you know where to send your, um, your NFT. And then once you know where you want to send it, well, you just simply click on the transfer icon here and you enter your Polygon uh, address, your Polygon Ledger protected address, and click transfer. Then you have to sign the transaction and you just wait for it to be processed essentially. So the transaction is now finalized, but there is one slight issue. What I didn't actually realize before making this video is, or what I didn't pay attention to, is that this is ERC-1155 token. So basically NFTs can be ERC721 or 1155 tokens. And the thing is that as far as I remember at the moment, Ledger, although it supports 1155 tokens, it's not able to actually display them. So basically, even though this token has been transferred to my Ledger protected account, I cannot actually see it there. If it was 721, ERC721 token, this should be much smoother. But in this case, basically what I have to do is I have to check my account. So this is my account or my address uh, here. And as you can see, this particular token has been transferred to, to that address. So I know it's in my Ledger protected account. However, if I go to Ledger Live, I won't be able to see it because ERC-1155 tokens at the moment are, are not supported, as in they are not visible. They, you will not lose your NFTs by, by sending them to, to your Ledger account, uh, but you cannot essentially see them there. So what I need to do now is go to OpenSea and then connect with my other account, my Ledger protected account. And that will then allow me to essentially manage this, uh, this token. So if I go to Ledger, Okay, as you can see now, it's my Ledger account and I can see that this NFT has been transferred to it. So it's a bit of a workaround, it's not the smoothest experience, but, but it works. So if you have any valuable Polygon NFTs, you can transfer them to your Ledger. And then of course, from OpenSea level, I can manage this, this NFT, I can send it to yet another address, I can sell it, I can do whatever I want with it. So yeah, it's a little bit of an inconvenience that you cannot just simply see them in your Ledger Live app or in your uh, MetaMask Ledger protected account. But as you can see, the process works and your NFTs are safe. And from what I gathered, Ledger is supposed to um, provide the support for ERC-1155 tokens relatively soon hopefully, so, so that should make this process a bit smoother. I hope this explains everything. If you do have any questions, please pop them in the comment section or please visit my Discord and we can have a chat there. And yeah, if you find it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, bye.